and Derek McCartney for one of the questions. Nelson, is this a tough loss to Swallow? Do you feel like you had opportunities to make more plays out there? Um, not make more plays, just eliminate some mistakes, I think would be the big thing. It's not like, I don't think at one time we felt like we were outmatched by him. We just kind of turned the ball over a little bit in the beginning. Um, didn't run the ball too well, and um, they kind of ran the ball well against us. So um, I think there was, yeah, there was more plays to be made, but, you know, overall, I don't think we were outmatched. Just made some mistakes that ended up hurting us. How much does this harken back to some of the losses last year, Washington and Utah, where you guys are competitive for a half or three quarters and then see things kind of slip the other way? Um, yeah, I mean, it's tough just because, uh, like, up to this point in the season, I think when we were in those close games in the fourth quarter, we felt like we had the advantage just because we, we'd become better at finishing those close games. So um, it was kind of step, a step back in that aspect that, um, you know, we were tied at halftime, got the ball, and we didn't really, you know, put our foot on the gas and kind of, you know, seize, it, seize opportunities that we had. So um, that's something we're, we're definitely going to need to work on going forward in, co in the conference. Derek, in the first half, it seemed like you guys had a pretty good grasp of their offense, holding them pretty well. What changed in the second half that made it a little bit harder for you guys to stop them? Uh, I think it was just uh, kind of like Nelson said. We just we just need to limit some of the mistakes in the in specific defenses, and uh, we weren't we didn't feel we don't feel like we were outmatched by any means. But we like he said, we just gotta limit some mistakes. They're, they're really getting the running game going, especially in that second half. Did they change any of their blocking schemes or do anything different that way? Um, I think it was just more of uh, each play. Like someone just had a little mental something and. It just kind of didn't work out for us, but we're, we're going to get better. So. Derek, how frustrating is it when you lose this game's game, you blow off, you keep having success, play like that? Is you're on the line watching it happen, it's frustrating. Yeah, it's definitely frustrating. I mean, we got to be better as a front seven to stop the run if we want to win. It seemed like you were able to pick on Oregon's secondary a bit. Did you see some opportunities offensively with the type of cushion they were giving? Your, your wideouts? Well, going into the game, we knew that their secondary was something we could maybe take advantage of. So that was kind of built into our game plan going into the game. And yeah, as the game went on, <clears throat> we were able to make some plays when the protection held up. Um, and yeah, that cushion they were giving us, we were able to kind of get some quick, quick game going. So um, yeah, that's what happened. Did the, uh, the delay at the beginning of the game have any kind of effect on you guys? No, I mean, we, we were fired up when we came out. Um, I mean, yeah, everyone was like, oh, this is stupid. I just want to get out there and play. But uh, we were fired up when the game started. Nelson, did you see any adjustments they made uh, defensively in the second half? Uh, I think that uh, I noticed they started running a little more cover, too, and like keeping the corner and not giving that all that cushion. Was, they were kind of sitting him at like five with the safety over the top. Saw a little bit more of that. Um, maybe they're just anticipating us throwing it more, but that's what I noticed. Really the it seemed like after Sepho's uh, uh, fumble there, you go down by seven, fumble, and then they take it down and score, you look like 14, that seemed to be kind of a backbreaker. Did it kind of take the air out of you guys a little bit? Um, I mean, I don't think. You know, until it got down to a little bit in the fourth quarter when, you know, mathematically it wasn't possible that we, like, gave up. But, I mean, that was just a, yeah, it was the probably the turning point of the game where we made a mistake that, you know, a team like Oregon is going to capitalize on, you know, most of the time. So, we, this is something we need to eliminate. Looked like to your defense, you're very competitive throughout most of the game on that side of the ball. Were there some concepts or keys that you were looking for from Oregon offensively? Um, really, we just need to, as a defense, to get better. We're just going to have to keep doing our job and getting better individually as a uh, individually as a group, really. But um, just keep working on our our scheme, our our job, and just keep getting better. Fundamentals.
this is kind of a rough time to think about it, but how do you guys feel being three and two at this point in the season? Um, I mean, obviously you want to win every game, but we're kind of looking at it like, yeah, we need to learn our lesson from this one. And, you know, this team is, there's a different feeling about it. And we feel like, you know, we can be competitive in, in every game. So we can't let a loss like this carry on into our, our week of practice and affect next week. We gotta, we're going to come in and watch film tomorrow, learn what we can, and then, you know, shake it off and get ready for uh, ASU. Any more questions for these two?